Welcome back to the Joe Danger Show, everyone. In this episode, I am headed offshore, doing it up true Florida man style. We've got a shotgun, we've got spear guns, we've got loads of sharks, and we've got an epic crew. On the boat today, we have Grady, Sam behind the camera. Mr. Exotic himself. Chris, this is a rare vermilion snapper. Size limit is, I don't think there is one. <laughs> there was like three lies in there, but yeah. we're gonna go with it. Okay. <laughs> and Danyar. Danyar is a local free dive instructor, so if you are interested in getting into the sport and wanna learn how to dive safely, he is the man. I put his link in the video description below, so make sure to give him a shout. Chris and Dania are some of the most knowledgeable and technical spear fishermen that I've ever had the privilege of diving with. Dania is a 200 foot free diver, and I've recently seen Chris lay on the bottom in 140 feet of water. And then you've got Mr. Exotic, who has speared all across the world, and in my eyes, taking the ultimate prize, a 200 pound plus dog tooth tuna in Africa. So I couldn't ask for a better crew. The weather is absolutely perfect. It's gonna be a fun one, let's get it. Tell us, tell us uh, <laughs> what you're excited about today, so. How uh, excited to be out here with the boys. Uh, aqua dumps. Uh, deeper dives. I'm looking to get, you know, maybe uh, 35, 45 feet today. It's been about 12 months. To be honest, I'm just excited to be back in the goddamn sun. That's about it. Anything after this is gravy. All right. <laughs> well, guys. So those are all mangrove snapper, and that's without any chum. It's a cradle for a boat that has like a, it's like a big, big boat that has a tender, like a yacht. And so it's the, the cradle that holds the tender, apparently fell off a big yacht. So it's just this like skeleton of a cradle. Is that what we cradle. decided? I think so, yeah. Heck yeah. All right guys, 93 feet, bottom looks loaded. So today the plan is to run about 60 miles offshore in search of African pompano and whatever else might swim into our chum slick. Um, but on the way out, we, we stop at a spot in about 70 feet and it's marked and great. So we decided it might be a good idea to hop in, warm up the lungs and get the mammalian dive reflex kicked in. in but tomorrow night, so I like My day. weapon. Yeah, tomorrow okay. during the day we're doing Yeah, sweet. Pink, pink bands. Two pink bands? No, this is all you get. Same crew? You go down there, you whack them. Mr. Miyagi sound? Yeah, I saw him, yeah, alright. Yeah, Early complication. Oh, there we go. Danger, before you get in, can you throw another handful of Yes, sir. Consider it done. Oh, That's some good chum, boy. We got four of those bags we gotta get through. Alright. A few soldiers in there. Alright. What? Oh, it's not like they threw away. Surprise, the viz actually is not that great. And this time of year, we know it's gonna be super sharky, so we gotta uh, dive as a team. We gotta be safe down there. We gotta keep our head on a swivel. And right away, you can see this is like Chris's first or second dive of the day, and he makes it to the bottom, and he's hunting, he's taking his time, and he sees some mangrove snapper. He waits, he's being very patient, bam, he pulls the trigger, it's a good holding shot, and as he's headed back to the surface and he's pulling the fish up uh, closer to him, big old bull shark just comes out of nowhere, charges him, goes right for his fish, and sharks him right underneath the spins. And honestly, I don't think there was much Chris could have done in that situation, um, but we did notice some other sharks in the area, they're getting fired up, so we decided as a team it's probably best to pull anchor and head to the next spot. into the chum and about 40 feet down there's a school of mangrove snapper so I decided to make a drop and you can see this poor mangrove snapper is just trying to get a free meal here but I uh, closed the gap 
pretty patient. I wait, get closer and closer. I'm gonna squeeze the trigger and uh, it's, it's a good shot. Bring them up to the surface. First thing I do is brain them. Then I gut them. Bleed them and uh, toss them in the boat and pack them with the ice. First fish of the day. I'll take it. Nice mangrove snapper. I think it'll be delicious to cook them whole. There we go. This guy will be perfect to cook them whole. Here's a clip from Chris's GoPro. You can see he drops down and there's a uh, three pack of yellow jack mixed in with the school of amber jack. He's able to pick out a nice one, pull the trigger, uh, make a good holding shot, and he gets gets this fish into his hands. And for those who have never eaten yellow jack, it is a must try. It's absolutely delicious. I love to uh, let it sit on ice overnight, fillet it, and take the loins and make some sashimi with it. It's absolutely incredible meat. The amino acids in the yeah. Uh, Little honey on the banana. That's a diving combination sent Dude, straight from the gods. So good. This is uh, good sugars. Mm. That mm. is from a local so citrus delicious. farm. So we shot some good fish today, got some great diving in. We're getting warmed up for the season ahead of us. And uh, we actually decide we want to try to vertical jig for some big red grouper. <laughs> yeah, you're like uh, you're like Raphael Nadal in the tennis court. Like the guys. Didn't watch much tennis, but hey, <laughs> he's not he's not the most graceful, but he's oh he's not he's very I mean he's one of the best of all time. Yeah, is he not like Federer is dude? like mm, yeah Federer is like Nadal's like I'm gonna blow just, my knees out. All right, I need you to pay attention now. This okay. is not real. There you go. Whoa, 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 why don't you yank that like you fucking want to fish? So the idea is you're going to try to catch them on the fall. So on the fall, you want to make sure they're slack in the line just like that. I would be a little bit more aggressive with the what pull. What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, dude? <laughs> Give it. There you go. Dude, this is how you vert jig, bro. No, this some wrist is, flick. That, this is a, you aren't No, that, the slow pitch is <laughs> different. <laughs> dude, watch, dude. watch the line. Dude, you're digging out. a grave for that rod. Bro, all right, stop it. You're using my rod. You gotta be paying attention here. I, I'm trying, dude. I, I was giving it my A plus. All right, Chris, get in here. <laughs> Show us how it's. Chris is a magician. He's a wizard. Adjusting. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the electronics stole someone. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh God. Yeah, you get this oh, oh dude. Sapper. Look at. Oh. No! Oh. Wait for it. Is that a big one? Oh! Oh, oh yeah. my god, Chris. Chris, you're a <laughs> f He goes into the, the line of the minnow. This one's not as big as the first one. Is he just dead? Come on, Chris. It's another one of those vermilion snappers. <laughs> Familiar snapper. <laughs> Damn, I wish I saw. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I just. I, I'm, Joe with the sunblock. It's like, you got a huge spot. Do you know it's there? Do you not know it's there? You're what do you mean? Look at you. <laughs> you have about all about over your face. Dude. <laughs> oh, I don't look great. <laughs> it's all about how you feel. <laughs> Fuck me. Dude, this guy. <laughs> Joe with the sunblock. It's incredible. This guy doesn't know he has it all over his face. He's been everywhere. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. So before we leave this spot, we come across a massive school of jack for ball. And I've actually never seen this before. There had to have been thousands of them. Come on, Sam. They're hungry. Oh! I mean, you gotta get a photo with this thing. So we get, don't don't lose them. Our wetsuit come off. 
two. We got Sam's in the water. This is uh. Oh. <laughs> Sam. Glasses from a, a West Texan. <laughs> Good teamwork there, boys. Sam was overheating. Sam recently got LASIK surgery. Yes. <laughs> yeah, his, his, uh, his retina is still dilated. <laughs> big. Oh, hey guys, we're just out here uh, shooting some biodegradable uh, clays with shotguns and shotgun shells. It's been great. Is this loaded? Loaded. <laughs> oh! Oh! Don't yeah, know. That was beautiful. Out of work. Yeah, that was beautiful. Tell me when. 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 <laughs> I'm Why? done, boys! That was sick! <laughs> oh. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more trips in the works, a lot more cool videos to come. We'll see you next time.